Hi, my name is Brett Reeves. I'm the assistant winemaker here at Buttonwood Winery, and today we're going to talk about punch downs and pump overs. Woo! <laughs> so, there's a number of reasons why we do punch downs and pump overs, but some of the more important reasons are flavor development, color extraction, tannin extraction temperature regulation, and just keeping a healthy fermentation environment. So a big difference when we are fermenting white grapes versus red grapes, white grapes will typically go directly from the vine into the press and you ferment it as juice, whereas red grapes will come off the vine, destemmed or whole cluster into one of these guys, which is called a fermenter. And that's where we ferment the red grapes to extract color from the skins, pigment, tannin, and one method we do that is called a punch down. A punch down is when you take the, the cap of the grapes, which is created by CO2, so as anything is fermenting, it's off gassing carbon dioxide. So what that'll do is take this whole skin cap and push it to the top. And what you want to do is take this punch down tool and literally punch down through the cap into the fermenting wine and reincorporate the skins and that's where you're going to get color extraction, pigment, and again tannin and help create flavor and texture in a red wine. What that also does is helps incorporate oxygen into the ferment. Yeast likes oxygen to create a healthy fermentation environment. Another reason why we do punch downs is as the grapes are fermenting not only is the off-gassing CO2, but it's creating a lot of heat. So what we do in punching down and, and breaking up that cap, it allows a lot of that heat to escape from the fermenter. And so we're able to keep a more healthy fermentation environment by keeping a more stable temperature. So during active fermentation, we typically have to do punch downs anywhere from two to three times a day. And one of the extra benefits is the workouts. We get the harvest bod. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> and yeah, that's a punch down. When we're fermenting red grapes on a larger scale, instead of a smaller one-ton fermenter, we'll pump grapes into a tank. It can vary in size. But so instead of doing the punch down, what you want to do is called a pump over. And so the same thing will happen. It'll create a cap and you still want to incorporate oxygen into the ferment to, to keep a healthy environment. So what we'll do instead of a punch down is drain the juice out of this tank into the sump and pump it back over the top and spray it over the top of the cap. So the cap remains wet, you incorporate oxygen into the juice, you help create a healthy fermentation environment by maintaining a stable temperature and it's the, essentially a similar process on a much larger scale. So we've talked a lot about heat in, during fermentation, and as you could imagine, the larger scale that you're, you're fermenting, the more heat is going to be produced. So essentially we want to take every measure we can to drop that temperature when we can. So part of doing that is we to use this screen here. The juice comes down, it has an opportunity to cool, and then as we pump it up, a lot of times with that cap, there's a lot of areas that are kind of hard to reach when you're doing your pump over. So in order to keep different areas of the cap wet and to reduce temperature, we use this valve and pump speed to literally fire hose wine and juice over the top of the cap. So that's it for us today. Thank you all so much for joining us. If you like this video, give it a like. If you're new here, please subscribe and we'll see you all next time. What do I do with my hands? <laughs> I, I know, that's like, as a guitarist, I'd, I'd never know that. I hate that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Are the punch muscles. <laughs> yes.